Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in the presence of Bahrain's National Guard Commander Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Deputy Premier His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the personal representative of His Majesty the King His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed his sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King on the occasion of the advent of the Holy Holy month of Ramadan, praying to Allah to bless him and the people of Bahrain with many more returns. In return, His Majesty the King congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and wished him many more returns. His Majesty also commended the sincere efforts that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the government continues to exert in order to combat the new coronavirus COVID-19 and their relentless pursuit to serve citizens and meet all their needs in these exceptional circumstances, wishing him success, good health and happiness. His Majesty the King also congratulated the citizens and residents of Bahrain on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing them many more blessed returns. His Majesty also congratulated the Arab and Islamic nations, wishing them many happy returns, as well as more growth and prosperity. His Royal Highness also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his royal directives and support for the efforts of the government in achieving the aspirations of the people of Bahrain Tower's further development and progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held telephone calls with His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, Emir Mugran bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, and the President Abraham Saleh of Iraq. Ramadan greetings and wishes for happy returns for the Kingdom, Morocco, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and the Arab and Islamic nations were exchanged during the calls. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, held a telephone call with the Kuwaiti Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah, and exchanged with him good wishes on the holy month of Ramadan. They lauded deep rooted fraternal relations between both countries and their perpetual growth at all levels. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued an edict to form Heritage Sports Committee chaired by Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Ghoud with Ali Mohammed Ali Fadl as Deputy Chairman and the following members Ahmed Khalid Al Khalfan, Mohammed Ahmed Janahi, Abdul Aziz Mohammed Al Rumahi. Nadir and uh, Nad Nadir Al Arjan and Muhammad Al Mari Al Murri, Rashid Al Ramahi and Khalifa Al Kabi. His Highness directed the committee to preserve and enhance heritage sports and present it on the local, regional and international levels, as well as setting strategi strategies to participate in related events in addition to observing related programs and activities on the national level. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism is intensifying its inspection activities ahead of the start of the month of Ramadan in order to safeguard the availability of foodstuff. The Assistant Undersecretary for Control and Resources, Abdelaziz Al Ashraf, inspected the Manama Central Market along with the Chairman of the Food Wealth Committee at the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, BCCI, Khalid Ali Al Amin. Al Ashraf also affirmed that oversight activities are ongoing around the clock through which awareness is being raised as per the directives of the executive committee headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Al Ashraf added that the prices in the markets have been investigated as of last month in light of complaints by citizens. He said that inspections are being carried out in coordination with the Ministry of Interior to ensure the availability of basic commodities and to increase the efficiency of the distribution process across markets. Al Ashraf and Al Amin expressed thanks and appreciation to the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, along with all other relevant government bureaus, for their cooperation in this regard. Al Ashraf added that supply of food items and other basic commodities are available for six months, which includes the entire month of Ramadan. Al Ashraf finally thanks the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, and the General Secretariat of the Capital, the BCCI, 
for their ongoing cooperation in safeguarding the safety of the citizens under the leadership of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Premier and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, the Ministry is launching the E-Mall Initiative in support of companies and commercial establishments licensed and practicing e-commerce in light of the current situation that the Kingdom of Bahrain is witnessing due to the coronavirus pandemic. The E-Mall Initiative is one of the initiatives of the National E-Commerce Plan that the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism is preparing for with the aim of creating an integrated environment for e-commerce and the e-complex will act as an electronic platform that includes all electronic stores and platforms licensed by the ministry. The stores will be classified according to the type of commercial activity provided and will not display information about the company. It will contain an electronic payment feature when purchasing as a payment method in addition to providing a delivery service to customers. This initiative comes to support commercial companies and small and medium enterprises in converting their usual commercial practices into electronic commerce and will continue or contribute to encouraging the spread of these institutions and expanding the electronic transitions, which in turn will support the growth of the Bahraini economy. The ministry initiatives or the ministry's initiatives or in all companies and commercial establishments who wish to join the electronic complex to register via the website www.mall.bh. For more on this topic, we are joined uh, with the Chief of E-Commerce Applications in the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Maram al Mahmid. Hello, Ms. Maram. Hello. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Ms. Maram, what is the Mall.bh initiative and what are its objectives? Um, first, thank you for this opportunity. Um, the Mall.bh is the first virtual mall in the Kingdom of Bahrain that includes e-commerce businesses registered in the kingdom and the mall.ph initiative is actually as you earlier said one of the national e-commerce strategy initiative proposed by the ministry of industry commerce and tourism to support um, e-commerce uh, sector in the kingdom of bahrain and enhance confidence in dealing with local e-commerce practitioners introducing them and encouraging consumers to do business with them this yep. initiative also aims uh, to encourage uh, the commercial sector by and for digital transformation and fully, um, fully prepare for the digital economy and its requirements. Great. And what are the expected results of this initiative? Um, actually, this pl uh, platform allows all e-commerce uh, business registered, uh, businesses registered in the Kingdom of Bahrain to participate and the appropriate category ch uh, chosen by the business owner, uh, it will contribute to enhancing confidence and spread of Bahraini e-commerce businesses and reducing the gap between e-commerce businesses and consumers. Great. And what are the future in initiatives that the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism is working on in the field of e-commerce? Well, the Ministry is working toward creating an e-commerce ecosystem through implementing a set of initiatives aimed at enabling uh, the ministry to regulate and uh, foster the e-commerce in Bahrain. Perfect. Thank you so much. That was the Director of Information Systems Department in the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Ms. Maram al Mahmid. Thank you for joining us. In response to the requests made by many expatriates residing in the Kingdom of Bahrain and their sincere desire to support national efforts to address the coronavirus COVID-19, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and an implementation of directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, his Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Secretary General of RHF, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, announced the organization of a television program in cooperation with Bahrain TV. The program will receive the contributions of the communities residing in Bahrain from individuals, institutions and companies for financial donations in regards with the national campaign Fina Khair on Friday, April 24th, starting from 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. 
where many people will be hosted in addition to receiving calls and announcing names of contributors and the donated amounts. Dr. Mustafa Sayyid explained that this initiative comes in response to the communication and demands received and came from many communities who have sincere appreciation for this country. They express gratitude for the appreciation, respect and generosity they received from its leaders, government and citizens. He emphasized that this initiative does not come as a surprise for the collaborative communities living in Bahrain where they previously had distinct contributions with all the campaigns launched by the Royal Humanitarian Foundation to support humanitarian projects and programs implemented inside and outside of Bahrain. Here's Yasmin Ibrahim with the latest business news. Thank you, Sarah. Very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Yasmin Ibrahim. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,307.59 points, marking a decrease of 0.94 points below the previous closing. This decrease was due to the fall in the commercial in the services sector. 43 equity transactions took place with a volume of 1,634,022 Bahraini dinars or 315,168 Bahraini dinars. Investors traded mainly in the services sector, representing 52.48% of the total value of securities traded. Businesses began to reopen today in Vietnam after three weeks of government orders shut down to contain the spread of the new coronavirus. In the capital, businesses slowly resumed. The government also lifted the ban on inter-province travel, while the number of domestic flights is allowed to increase in several provinces. Students started to go back to school after almost three months of closure. The South Carolina governor ordered to allow certain retailers to reopen. That means certain stores previously deemed non-essential, like department stores, furniture stores, florists, bookstores and craft stores, can now open. All businesses that are now open still have to comply with the executive order allowing five customers per every 1,000 square feet. Brazil has started to gradually reopen businesses to avoid a total economic collapse amid the outbreak. The control measures have helped curb infections but have also posed a significant threat to its economy. That threat is being felt by large numbers of Brazilians who didn't have stable jobs before the epidemic and can no longer sustain themselves. Brazil's health ministry, ministry said it would assist sales and cities in easing their partial lockdown measures to help boost the economy. Oil gained ground in financial markets pulling further away from zero after getting turned upside down earlier this week amid a collapse in demand. U.S. benchmark crude was trading as low as $6.50 a barrel, more than 80% lower than the start of the year. The drop reflected suffering in the global economy that has left a vastly diminishing demand for oil. Pumps are still running, extracting oil from the ground. Some brokers were betting that storage would be more valuable than oil next month. And finally, before we conclude our business news for this evening, let's take a look at how stock markets around the world fared in daily trading. And that is it from the business desk. It's back to you, Sarah. Thank you, Yasmin. Open Iftar, the UK's largest community event during Ramadan. Now, we'll go online this year to allow people to connect over Iftar while adhering to social distancing restrictions that aim to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Volunteers from the Ramadan Tent Project, the social enterprise group that hosts Open Iftar, will launch a virtual My Open Iftar to keep the Iftar tradition alive amid the virus outbreak. The project's head of operations and that under normal circumstances opens Iftar is a free event held at a venue where people of all backgrounds and faiths come together to break bread.